Hi, it's good to be with you once again. I hope you enjoyed your half term break and managed to get a bit of a holiday. I also hope that you managed to enjoy some pancakes last week as well. I wonder what you had on them, whether it was chocolate spread or ice cream or lemon and sugar. I bet you enjoyed them. Well, we've started Lent. So I thought we would share, I'd share with you today that story of, of Lent right at the beginning where Jesus went into the desert for 40 days because that's how long Lent is and that's what we're Christians are remembering during Lent and that whilst he was in the desert he was tempted. He was tempted to satisfy his hunger, he was tempted to test God and he was tempted to have all the power in the world. But I'm going to share it, tell you that story by sharing it with you via a video. So I hope this is okay. Let's press share. Just enlarge the screen. So after Jesus <coughs> was baptized, the Spirit immediately drove him out into the wilderness. He was in the wilderness for 40 days, tempted by Satan, and he was with the wild beasts and the angels. The angels waited on him.
very different retelling of that story. So I wonder, I wonder what your favorite part of that story was. I wonder, I wonder what you thought was the most important part of that story. Wonder what it feels like to be in the wilderness. I wonder what it feels like at the beginning of the 40 days. I wonder what it feels like at the end of those 40 days. I wonder, I wonder why the Spirit sent Jesus into the desert in the first place. I wonder, I wonder which part, where you, which part of the story is for you, where you are in that story. At the end of that story, angels took care of Jesus. I wonder who takes care of you. I wonder who you take care of. We'll all have different thoughts about that story and different wonderings. And you may want to discuss it in your classes or with, with someone close to you. What I noticed about that story was how happy Jesus was at the beginning. And then towards the middle, he started to get really sad. And then at the end, you saw him being supported by the angels. Christians often talk about life being like a wilderness. And sometimes we find ourselves in the wilderness or in the desert, whatever word you want to use. But for Christians, we believe that God is there supporting us through those more difficult times. And sometimes the wilderness can be good, like it was at the beginning of that story. And sometimes it can be really hard, like at the end. But we have God and we have each other to support us and encourage, encourage us on our way. So let's be still and let's think about that story. Think about where you are in that story. Think about who cares for you and who you care for. Loving God, we thank you that you are always there to care for us and support us through the difficult times. We know sometimes time in the wilderness can be good and refreshing from the busyness of life. But we also know it can be a struggle. Help us to find those times of refreshment and help us to know your support and the support of those around us when we are struggling. Amen.
Well, look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care and look after yourselves. Bye.